something real, cause this world's crazy. Something so simple is now complicated, but I know with faith we're still gonna make it. Cause in the end we'll be saved by grace, and every day will be beautiful. Everything's gonna be alright. Hi, I'm the fat kid inside. I used to be fat, really fat. 240 pounds. I'm 5'10, so that's obese already. I'm still only 5'10, but now I weigh on average 150 to 160 pounds. So I lost a total of 90 pounds. I lost close to 60 of those pounds in just four months. Let me show you how to be healthy. First thing you need to know, weight is first lost in the kitchen and then through sports. A couple of changes will make the whole difference. Here is the food pyramid. The stuff at the bottom you should eat lots of. Middle, a little bit less. At the top, try as much as possible to reduce it. And the things you see in the prison cells besides the pyramid, forget about those completely. Flavor ingredients such as herbs, spices, pepper, lemon, juices, vinegars, etc, etc, etc are okay. Now, learn how to portion. One serving of meat is 100 grams. One serving of vegetables is one half cup of broccoli. One serving of whole grain is one slice of whole grain. And a serving of fruit, a cup of fruit. A balanced meal for me, a cup of broccoli, a tablespoon of olive oil, 200 grams of cooked chicken, one cup of salad, one banana. So I guess you've noticed a trend. Eat vegetables, fruit, lean proteins, nuts, healthy fats, and whole foods. Nothing processed and nothing with sugar. Here we go. Sugar is the number one enemy. Try not to eat these simple cards. Candies, desserts, packed cereals, white bread, refined bread, anything with sugar, refined pasta. Eat these complex carbs in moderation. Whole grain breads, rice, whole grain pasta, barley, quinoa, beans. Learn how to love these complex carbs. Fruits and vegetables. Simple, right? But don't overdo the starchy ones. Potatoes, corn, dried fruits, etc. Now, what's wrong with too many carbs? Well, they digest fast. They flood your bloodstream with glucose. You start secreting insulin, which helps your body store fat. But wait, 
eating some fat is better than carbs? Yes, because it takes longer to digest, doesn't make your insulin or glucose level spike, and without those spikes, the fat can actually be used as energy, mind blown. Which is why I promote healthy fats, fatty fish like salmon, some fat in the chicken thighs, and red meat. The theory, well, it's generally accepted that cavemen used to hunt and gather for their food. Their diet primarily consisted of fruits, veggies, and meat. Also, while looking for their food, they would expend lots of calories walking and hunting. We then introduced wheat, processed food, and gluten to our diets. That's when diseases such as celiac disease and diabetes started in some individuals. What should you drink now? Water. How about alcohol? Well, if you really are trying to lose weight, you don't drink any. However, red wine would be your best and healthiest bet. Should you count calories? Well, do you know that calories are not created equal? What do I mean? What do you think is better for you? 100 calories of whiskey or 100 calories of chicken breast? It's the same exact calorie count, right? But the chicken can actually be used by your body to function. Your body really doesn't need anything with the whiskey. So it's just wasted calories. Food is fuel. You eat what your body needs. For example, did you know that from the 70s to today, we have increased our calorie intake by at least 25%. But we aren't more active, are we? Our jobs are actually more sedentary than before. That and the rise of consumption of processed food has increased obesity all over the world. Now, some other misconceptions. Are all salads healthy? Yes, given, but how about the dressing that you put on top of it? Fruit juice is good for you, but isn't real fruit juice from real fruits better or actually just whole fruits better for you? Now eat all the fruit you want. Still, this is okay, but still be careful of the sugar count. If you exercise, you can eat anything you want. Wrong again, you should only eat what your body needs. Skipping meals will make me skinny. This really doesn't work. Your body needs to be used to digesting food. Being vegetarian will make you lose weight. Sugar is vegetarian, so not really. Running and cardio are the best sports for weight loss. While yes, they are good, you need to do sports that also build muscle, gym, weights, plyometrics, crossfit, quick movements because muscles burn fat. Some of my easy to follow success tips. Exercise as many times as you can. Five times a week is good. Try to do something active every day. Drink more water. Read nutritional labels. If it has sugar ingredients you can't pronounce, throw it away. Say no to anything deep fried. Try cooking most of your meals. Prepare healthy snacks. Portioning is so important. Keep a food diary. Don't skip meals. Have one cheat meal a week where you eat anything you want. Chew your food. Sleep at least eight hours a night. Now, once you've reached your fitness goals and your weight goals, feel free to indulge once in a while. You just need to know how to make the healthy and conscious choices. You are the only one between you and your goals. Stop sabotaging yourself. It's simple. Just start. Fatkidinside.com This is the Fruit Swap 2000. So put it down, take an apple, make it a banana, and then you get corn. Hey, it's a magic door. Oh, dude. What? How to make fried, just only dry bamboo. So what you can do, make a tiny hole, then make a guideline. This is your guideline when you rub it. We need a shooting. And we need a cream cutter. And we need also a shading holder. Remove the powder first, then divide it at the two. Always put the two balls in between the hole. Then the shading holder are uh, cut. First you rub slowly down in it up. Then faster, faster and faster. Harder. Uh. Then we need also a pointed stick, then you blow little by little until the fire is bigger and bigger. So it's just the way how to make your own fire. 
Then you pull your friend. Okay, come on.